finally, some background story that we can actually deal with and make some sense of. Like, come on, through, cook, yeah. I want to pull my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for season one, episode five of Star. We've taken five episodes to actually get to the get down about the damn mammy. Okay, so we start right off. We're doing, there's doing a photo shoot and you're starting to see group problems, normal group problems. Alexandra is getting pissed off because they keep putting highlighter on her. And you could visibly see. They literally have her all lit. I said, child, y'all got her looking like Wonder Woman over there, honey. She's beautiful. But they got all this highlighter in her eyes. Like she said, y'all, your damn uh, photographer's trying to lighten me up so I could blend with these two bitches. And I'm not. I'm black. I'm supposed to be that way? Thanks. And Hyle's like, you, you, you don't know, you don't know. He's so engulfed in Star. I don't give a fuck about nobody else but Star. And I'm like, uh-huh. So then we start seeing Star. And, you know, it's just, as you're watching this, you're figuring out more. Star is a bitch. Star is a bitch. She doesn't care about anybody, really, but Star. That's it. She doesn't care about the sister. She wants the sister to do whatever she tells her to do and all of that. And she just has so many different little hangups and she's a tramp. But the one thing that I did notice in this episode, it's not a mistake that she's written the way she is. Alexandra is more talented than Star. And that's not by chance. That's not a mistake. And I'm by the end of this review, you're going to understand why I picked up on all of that while we were doing this. So, okay. So Simone ended up finding an old box. She was going to get something out of the garage for Carlotta. She finds an old box that has videos and pictures of the mother. Baby, the mother's bad. The mother could sing her, that Mary could sing her ass off. Well, she was singing this song and through all of what was going on, we've find some old shit and then they start doing some you know some reminiscent where Carlotta was showing what really went on Carlotta and Hael were a couple Carlotta is the one that actually started the group Carlotta grabbed hold of Mary and made Mary and the other girl into a group same way as Alexandra with Star and the sister Carlotta was the one, because whatever this song she was singing, it was the breakout song. But it completely featured Mary. But it wasn't that way originally. But Hiel was like, oh, just trust me, baby. He just sweet talked Carlotta and ended up putting the focus on Star. Not Star, I'm sorry, on Mary. And then actually started falling for Mary too. All up in her neck. And that was the, the core reason that broke the group up. This is the same shit that's going on. It's always star, 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 star. But, and he's just so occupied with star. Carlotta sees it. She's like, he's doing the same exact thing. Later on in the program, they end up having this conversation. And Hail literally told them that Carlotta was the one who broke up the group because she got jealous of Mary, which was a complete lie. Carlotta, all she said when whenever they brought that to her, she said, really? Really? She said, Hail is a lying, coke-snorting um, pig. I said, oh, okay. All right. So they had this whole thing. They were there to do this. It was a, uh, They went off to a club to see there's these three girls 
who were the competition that were going to Atlanta as well. And they were real good. They really were. They were really good. And um, they're like, we really got to do some work. Once Alexandra sang the song that Mary was singing, she updated it and brought it in. And then she was singing it. And then she was saying to Star, you got to do this song since you sound just like your mom, too. So you sing like her. And here goes Star going through this bullshit. I don't sing like her. I ain't nothing like her. Bitch, you look like her. You don't, you're right. You don't sing like her. You don't sing as well as your mother did. You know, but you lie. But Alexandra sings Star under the fucking rug. So we're just seeing them pushing the group around to where, you know, the, he's, Ayo is knowingly shading Alexandra pushing Star out front. Um, just a mess, you know, just just a damn mess. But um, Star went through all of that bullshit, and they're like, we just need stuff. So now you know she's screwing the little uh, Hunter, which is Hale's nephew. He ends up giving her his um, because he, he told she told him she's like, there's these girls, you know, and they're polished and they got this, and they got that, and she's he's, he gave her his credit card and said, can I trust you with my credit card? She's like, can you, you know, he's like, go ahead and get the things that you all need. So cotton can actually style you to make you look like something. So everything was fine. He got them together. He got, they went, got everything together. Cotton styled them out. They was together. They were totally together. They got up there. They, after battling back and forth, they ended up singing the song. Alexandra reworked the song and it was fabulous. It really was. It was fabulous. And when they were leaving the showcase, because they did well, and they made they made it into wherever they were going in the showcase, and they're like top twenty. So when they're leaving, Hiles like runs up on Carlotta, and he's hugging them. Then he going to hug Carlotta, and be like, "That was wonderful. You didn't tell me that they were doing that song. Did you know they were going to do the song?" And she said, after all these years, you still don't get it. And she, he doesn't know that the girls told him, told Carlotta what he had said. She said, he was like, Star was amazing, this, that, and the other. He said, for the record, Alexandria did the arrangement. Star was okay. But Alexandria did the new arrangement of the song, not Star. And not to bust your bubble, originally, I wrote that song, not Mary. And he was looking at her. I said, mm, mm. yes, indeed. And then he took his ass outside. He's going to leave and got accosted. That van that he had them girls in, the same type of van pulled up, honey, and they got his ass and put a black bag over his head, gave him one, two in the gut. Threw him in the back of the thing. And the last we seen the high ill baby, baby, he was dropped off into a warehouse and his feet and shit was tied. They threw his ass over there with that bag on his head. He laying in the middle of the goddamn warehouse. A mess. A mess. And then we got the dead ass man. Now the cops that found his car. Um the wife is making phone calls looking for him. She then found Carlotta's number and then called there and talked to um, the little sister. Tomorrow. Have you seen your dad? He's been gone for a couple weeks. And nobody can find him. She just hung up on her. Hung up on a bitch. And um, let's see, what else went on? Oh, Carlotta. You know, with the whole murder thing and all that, it's kind of it was kind of pulling her away from the church a little bit. And then we actually see um, Bobby. He sent her some flowers and all that. Wooed her back and got her to be to agree to be the um, choir. You know, the in charge of the choir. So she actually came back, sang a nice song, and for a chance, she had a nice red wig, and she looked nice. That's the first good wig she's had on since this actually came on, because I don't know what that shit is they've been putting on Queen Latifah. Her head is a mess in every goddamn episode, but this one, when she was at church singing, her hair was nice. Now, now this is the thing. Child, they didn't have to fuck Tyrese up like that, though. His hair is growing back, and that motherfucker ain't got none. It's all sporadic up in here and look like ground meat, and it's real nappy. I said, it look a mess. He's giving George Jefferson tea, child. 
It was a damn mess. A damn mess. But that's basically it. That's all that has actually taken place. But again, you see, I believe it's actually on purpose that Alexandra definitely is more talented and can sing better than Star. And um, that's part of the plot line. But that star, she's a mess. Oh, I knew there was one other thing. So she goes back. She's in there fucking the, the, the hunter and all of this. And his mother ends up walking in. And she will say, oh, do you want to join? I said, see, she's always doing too much. She all up on him. And his mother comes in. She ain't even get down. She's just like, oh. You know, I'm like, what the hell? And the mother going to say, I'm looking at your uh, slip from your account. $20,000 in the boutique? Seriously? And she she said, really? For this dirty phone? And she looked at him, put his mother out the room. And then he turns around. He's like, Star, are you serious? $20,000? She gonna tell him all about how that's just a flash in the pan for you. I said I got a few things and it's three girls. It's not just me. And maybe we got a few other things. But I mean, what is it? $20,000 is a flash in the pan for you. He said, I asked you, could I trust you with my credit card? And she said, and I asked you, could you? Baby, he took something and threw it at her. I said, oh. I said, see, she's always, she's just too much. Then she takes her funky ass out there. And got to know you know the paparazzi's out there. She up there smiling and grinning and posing for the paparazzi. I said, girl, you are more trouble than you are worth. She really, really is. She really, it's a shame. She gets on my nerves. I don't like her. She is on my fucking nerves. I just want to smack her 20 times. But anyway, all right, y'all. So that's it. Next week.